I got back on Grindr, I got back on almost a week ago. I went out last weekend and I went out to a club down the street. Actually, there's two queer clubs down the street from where I live. I got dressed really nice. It was the first time that I went out dancing in lingerie. And it was lovely to be out. A few men approached me, but one man, while I was dancing, came up to me and started dancing with me. It was really, really, really cute. You know, kind of like uh, the Whitney Houston like thing. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. With somebody who will love me, though I don't have my nails done. I want to groove with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. If he's cute, I let him touch my body. <laughs> with somebody who loves me. I could tell in his face he was happy. And he, he just came with this big smile and went to the dance like this. It was so cute, you know? He asks me my name, he introduces himself, where he's from. And then he, he started hugging me and we would dance. Oh my God, I, what a hug. I haven't gotten hugs like that in a really long time. It, it felt like I was in touch with that. And that's kind of sad, actually, that with the sexual encounters I've had through Grinder, there was never a hug like that. Right? So, really, really interesting to, to feel that, engage that. However, okay, we kept dancing and stuff like that, and he was really, really close. So I'm feeling he's getting a little excited. It's fine. And I was getting excited too. He could feel that I'm excited. He asked me if I was gay or straight. I said, well, I date men. <laughs> that was my reply. And then he asked if I was trans. And I said, yes, that I am trans. And that's when he pulled away and got lost in the darkness of the crowd of the club. And that was fine. I, I you know, I got it. I think he wiped his mouth. <laughs> I think he was looking for a bottle of alcohol or a wet one to wipe his face down because he was nibbling on my neck too, which was really cute. And I let him. It's like, big deal. He's not feeling me up, but the hugs were so beautiful. I really felt so good with that. And so when that happened, it just reminded me, well, it's, um, how can I say this properly? that um, many times I get, like I've said probably on the video before, that I, I get clocked for uh, cisgender. Um, could I say that that's stuff, status? And is that actually considered status when you're stealth? If you could be stealth, if I am stealth, and I think stealth is in the eyes of the beholder, I don't want to equate stealth to beauty, like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. He did not perceive me initially as a trans woman. And I think that's so shocking because uh, I really think like there's still like bumps, razor bumps and stuff, even in the best closest shave. And maybe that's just part of my gender dysphoria and body dysphoria. But it's often that that happens that I meet a man and it goes so well. There's some really nice cisgender men out there. Really, really, really nice. A lot of them have come up with some really nice approaches. I want to say really good lines, really sweet really sweet until it's revealed that I am transgender. And so that was upsetting, uh, disappointing more is the word. 